Hey, it's Tina. So if you are new to your kalimba like I am, I've been kind of developing a way to pick this up. And first thing I do is work on my scales. And I try to do them, you know, at different speeds. I'll do a normal speed, then I'll try to do them fast. And then try to play them slow. It just helps you to find the keys and have control over the keys and your speed. It's really helpful. It's just so helpful. I can't stress it enough. Brand new with their kalimba. This is just my style that I developed. Um... So, left, right, left, because of the keyboard the way it is. So, the first line would be left, one, 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 five. One, 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 five with the right. Three ones with the left. One on the five. Three threes on the right. And a two on the left. So you can't put that, you know, that's why you have to have three columns. You can't put the two over here. Because it's not going to have your tune and sound right. So, four, four, four on the left. And then on the right, five, three, one. Nothing on the left. Okay, on the left over here, you'd have 661. Now, this one has a line above it, so that means that's a high one. It's not the low center one. That's the low center one. We're going to be doing the high one of, up here on the left. Okay, so 661. And then five on the right. Let's do that again. Okay. And then one, three ones in the center because it doesn't have a line above it. We're going to use our right thumb. And then on the left, four, two, one. And on the right, Five three three one. Okay, so what it would sound like would be this. Okay, I'll hold the notes up again for you if you want to copy that, screenshot it. 